Hey guys, Compulsion84 here with another PSA type video. If you have a Manfrotto fluid head like my 502 HD here, which uses plates like this 504P long, you cannot use all quick disconnect systems, including the ones made by Manfrotto. I got a Manfrotto 323, which uses the RC2 QD system, and it flat out won't work. And this isn't just with the 502 HD, it looks like it's with all the Manfrotto fluid heads that use a sliding plate design like this. So not only is the very commonly used 502 HD, also known as the 502 AH affected, a couple other heads are affected as well. The 504 HD, which is the much larger, more robust design, the 500 AH, and some of the older ones, there's a 700 series ones, pretty much anything with a sliding plate probably isn't going to work. Manfrotto's website really had almost no information, it was really unhelpful. I eventually found on the internet a video plate to fluid head or just camera head comparison chart that I'll show here that shows you how what matches up with what, and even then it still doesn't tell you all the information. So the 502 HD uses this 504P long plate. I found out it can also use a 501 PL, which is shorter. I actually have one of those on my mirrorless camera right here, so you can see the length. For my small Sony A6000, it, you know, this is kind of overkill. This actually came with the Manfrotto 577 system, which I use to slide my camera directly into the 502 head. This actually worked versus the RC2 system that I was trying to do. But anyways, this video is about the RC2. So not only is the 504, the 501 plate affected, the 500P long plates also affected. Now I'm going on and on about what's affected. What specifically is the problem? So this Manfrotto 323 uses the RC2 quick release system. They also have a more robust RC4 and another RC0. I'm not sure what's stronger, the RC0 or the RC4. As far as I can tell, the RC4 appears to be getting phased out. It's also more expensive than this. So what's the big problem? Here's my 323 with the RC2. Open up the safety, flip the switch, comes out. Simple. Works well. Solid retention. I really like this base. Everything is good about it. The only problem is it has this exposed screw and I'll show you a better image on screen. And what this is doing, I'll try to show you the profile view, it's actually protruding. And that protruding means that whenever you try to slide this onto your tripod, this head hits. And the way this is machined, you can't put it on the tripod. Excuse me, you can't put it on the fluid head. It's literally impossible. It interferes. You can wiggle it. You can move it all around. I try to do some dumb things to see if I can make it fit, and it doesn't work. I tried to figure out a system to connect both a slider and my camera, and I wanted to be able to kind of bounce them around and put this ball head, which is a Manfrotto 496, on a slider. But uh, I had got these two things, these RC2, you know, family hardware, and it won't work. So luckily I got it from Amazon and it's easy to return, but I'm making this video to let you know that these, uh, these RC2 systems, specifically the 323 system, will not work on Manfrotto fluid heads. There are other options out there. I'll probably do a follow-up video. You can use the 577, which does use a shortened version of these plates to slide things directly in. Uh, it's not a perfect system. Some people have issues with it, but you can natively use similar plates or the same plates. So that is a solution, but just the, the main bullet point is don't try to put a Manfrotto 323 on any of their fluid heads with the sliding plates because it won't fit. I don't want you guys to waste your time or money. So hopefully this helped. If you have any questions about how I'm connecting my tripod, camera gear, etc., let me know in the comments below or anything specifically about this interference or this problem. I'll do my very best to try and help you out. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe to the channel for more great gun, gaming, and gadget content. I'm Compulsion84, and I'll see you next time.